For the next and last problem for our module 8, we have problem number 2. The lower ends of three bars shown are at the same level before the rigid homogeneous 20 megagram block is attached. Each steel bar has an area of 600 millimeters squared and elasticity of 200 giga newton per meter squared or GPA. And for bronze demand, we have the area of 900 millimeters squared and elasticity of 83 gigapascal. Find the stress developed in each bar. So, pinapahanap si stress sa steel natin and si stress sa ating bronze. And to find that, meron tayong formula na stress. It is equal to applied load divided by the area. So, meron tayong given areas ng bawat bars natin. Therefore, hanapin lang natin yung uh, kanyang mga applied force or applied load. So, for this is, let's copy yung ating magiging free body diagram. Ayan. So, kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong tensile forces para sa mga bars natin going up. So, meron tayong PS dito, PB, and PS. So, kung napapansin din natin, we have here asymmetrical, di ba? Parehas yung kanyang material kasi kabilaan na steel. And then, meron tayong bronze sa gitna nito. So, si 20 megagram natin is, saan kaya galing si 196, 200 196,200 newton. So, kinonvert lang po yan. Di ba? We have 20 megagram. So, convert natin siya into kilogram. So, multiply lang natin ng 1,000. So, magiging kilogram na po yan to. So, sa kilogram natin, multiply lang natin ng 9.81. Tama? Para makuha natin in terms of weight. Kasi nakagram, nakakilogram siya, nakamas. So, in terms of weight, multiply na natin ng constant na 9.81. So, we have, let's calculate, 20 multiplied by 1,000 multiplied by 9.81. So, yun po galing, dun galing si 196,200 newton. Pinakita lang po natin. So, dito, first step natin is mag-apply tayo ng equilibrium equation. So, for this, let's say summation of forces, vertical, is equal to zero and going up is positive. So, we have PB and PS. So, dalawang PS, lagay na natin 2 PS plus PB minus 1962 is equal to 0. So, ayusin lang natin. So, let's say na 2 PS plus PB and then we have 196 positive 196 200 Newton. So, meron po tayong unang equation. Ayan. So, equation number 1. So, next naman is before yung block na na-attach sa ating lower ends is syempre, same level yung mga bars natin. Tama? So, meron din po tayong para ma mas ma-visualize. Lagay natin to. Ayan. So, syempre, ito yung original level yung sa broken lines natin. Diba? So, may imagine natin yan. Diba? So, dahil nga na-applied na yung homogeneous block dito, therefore, Dahil dito is magkakaroon tayo ng deformation. So, ito yan. Si deformation natin. So, therefore, ito na yung magiging final level natin yan dito. So, kung napapansin din natin is, syempre, uh, same level sila sa unang level, uh, sa original level natin. Therefore, sa final level, same level pa rin sila. Therefore, ang ibig lang pong sabihin lang is, equal ang naging deformation ng bawat bars natin. So, we can say that deformation or delta, deformation at steel, is equal to deformation ng ating bronze. Tama? Kasi ganun din. Parehas din ang kanilang deform or binaba ng ating bars. So, from this equation or from this situation, we can say that, di ba, meron tayong formula ng ating delta or deformation, it is equal to PL over AE. So, lagay lang natin. 
we have here PL over AE, this is for steel, it is equal to PL over AE para naman sa bronze. So, let's substitute yung mga values natin. So, for P ng ating steel, so unknown pa yan. So, we have the length given na 800 millimeter. So, same length lang po sila ito. So, we have 800 millimeter. And for the area, given din yan, we have for steel, 600 millimeter squared. And for its elasticity, meron tayong 200 GPA or 200,000 yeah, megapascal or newton per millimeter squared. So, this is equal to so, for bronze, PB, so same length, we have 800 millimeter, divide by area, we have 900 millimeter squared, and for elasticity, we have 83,000 megapascal or newton per millimeter squared. So, yeah. So, I'll simplify lang natin. Kuha tayo kunin natin yung equation. So, same sa dito sa equation 1. Ganitong format din. So, by doing that, so, cross-multiply tayo. Diba? Ayan. So, sa 800, mapupunta dito sa baba. So, makakancel yung 800. I-cancel na natin sa 800 natin. Ayan. So, ang um, kakalculate na lang natin yan, we have here, PS is equal to so, calculate natin. So, na-cancel 800. So, ililipat natin. We have 600 multiplied by 200,000 divide by 900 multiplied by 83,000. So, we have 1.606. So, 1.606 PB. So, i-arrange lang natin ulit sa ganitong format. So, PS, so, transpose si PB, minus 1.606 PB is equal to 0. So, we have here our equation number 2. So, dito, pwede natin siyang i-substitute or gawing si PS, substitute nyo siya dito. Or pwede tayo mag-calculator na lang. We have we will use yung ating tinat yung sa mode 51 ayan para ma-identify na natin agad di ba makukuha natin first si value ng ps and si next is value ng pb so punta tayo sa calculator ayan so mode 51 to equations to unknown so first we have two and then, we have 1, so PB, and then 196,200, so sa equation 1. For equation 2 naman, we have 1, and then negative 1.606, and then we have 0. So, we will get the value for PS, 7489, so now exit. Sorry guys, ayan. So ulitin natin. 2, 1, 1, 9, 1, 9, 6, 1, 9, 6, 200. We have 1, negative 1, 6, and then 0. Yeah. So 7, 4, 8, 0, 9, point 40. So 4 PS. Newton and for PB we have 46581.196 or let's say 0.20 na lang so we have 4 again 46581 46581.20 Newton so therefore nahanap na natin yung mga applied force sa kanila or applied load nakukuha na natin yung kanilang stress so Formula ng stress. So first, we identify sa steel. We have PS over AS. So it is equal to 
7409.40 divide by the area 600 millimeters squared. So our stress for steel is equal to 7.8.09.40 divide by 600. So we have 124.68 megapascal. And we have here a tension load or tension stress. Yeah. And then next, sa ating PB naman, so stress at Bronze, we have PB, AB. So PB natin, 46581.20. Divide the area, 900. So we have our stress of bronze is equal to 46581.20. Divide 900. 51.76. Fifty one point seventy six megapascal, and we have here attention. So, this is our final answers for last problem one two four point sixty eight and fifty one point seventy six megapascal. So, thank you for listening. Have a good day, everyone.